Hey guys, so today I am going to be showing you how to put on false lashes. This is another thing I get asked a lot, probably second to brows, but it is also another thing that I have a lot of experience doing on myself and on other people. I've been doing makeup for years. I'm going to try to give you all of my best tips and tricks to be able to put on false lashes on yourself because I know it's false lashes are beautiful, they're amazing, but it's so hard to put them on yourself. So I'm gonna try to do my best to show you guys how to do that on yourself, and yeah. Definitely my biggest piece of advice is to not try it for the first time right before you're about to go somewhere. Um, you don't wanna glue your eyelids shut like right before you have to go to a wedding, you know what I'm saying? I would recommend doing this on like a Tuesday night when you're just gonna be at home and not going anywhere and if they look crazy, it doesn't matter because you can just take them off and try again the next day. Because I know I've done that before. Where it's like, oh, I'm going to attempt to put on false lashes now. And then they don't look good, but you actually have to go somewhere. So don't do that. Another thing I think is really important is the type of lash that you use. Now, I know that... If you're a beginner and you're not really sure how to put on lashes, something that you're gonna wanna do is just like run to CVS and grab some Ardell lashes. They're a couple bucks, they're cheap. Um, they're not super high quality, so if you mess them up, it's not a big deal. Um, and I understand that, but I actually wouldn't recommend that for a beginner. I think that getting a higher quality lash is actually gonna be better for you. With a cheaper lash, this band across the top of the lashes is very thin um, and in turn is very very flimsy when you have a more higher quality lash you can see the band at the top there is thicker and it holds its shape a lot better um, so when you're actually going to lay it down on your eyes I think that it just makes it so much easier and when I switch to like a higher quality lash I found that putting on lashes was just 10 times easier. Now when I say a higher quality lash, there's different levels to this. You can go to a mink lash, um, which I love mink lashes. They're beautiful. They are like the best quality. Those typically range from like 20 to $40. And you can get like a foam mink or like a synthetic lash that's still a higher quality lash, but it's gonna be more around like 10 to $20. Now, I definitely do love mink lashes. I think that they are like the ultimate lash, but you can still get a beautiful lash and a synthetic lash as well. How many times did I just say lash? Take a shot every time I say lash. My favorite brand for lashes lately has been Dulce Luxe. As you can see there, oh, there it is. The packaging is just beautiful. And they do have mink lashes and also synthetic lashes if you don't want to get mink. And this brand is actually quite a bit cheaper than most brands, and that's one of the reasons I love it so much. It's more affordable, but it's the same quality that you get anywhere else. Mink lashes, I think, are more around 20 25 and then the synthetic ones are 10 And I also do have a 15% off code if you want 15% off of your order. I will leave it down in the description below. So if you guys want to get a pair of lashes for yourself, you can save some money on an already affordable lash. I was actually surprised when the coupon code she gave me was that much. 15% I think is really good off of a lash that's already a good price. So but this lash is in the style, what style is this? Lush, I think. Yes, Lush. I wanted to grab a lash that I haven't worn before so you can see how I size them and everything like that. See how they have that just like perfect curve already to them? And they're not as flimsy as the other ones. So when you put them on, they actually just like fit on your eyes, which is just the best. If you watch a lot of makeup tutorials, makeup videos, follow a lot of makeup people, then you probably see them all the time just putting on lashes, you know, just like popping them on. No, you know, no eyeshadow, no eyeliner, or anything. Um, but again, if you're a beginner, that's definitely not something I recommend. I think that the most important thing you can do is put on eyeliner first. Even if you're just putting on a band across the lid, like you don't have to do anything fancy like a wing or anything, but if you have on like a nice thick black line, if your lashes aren't sitting perfectly at your lash line, no one's gonna know because it's gonna be all black. The lashes, your lashes, 
the eyeliner and everything, you're not going to see that disconnect from your lashes to the lashes because the liner is going to kind of make it look filled in. And even for me, someone who is much more experienced putting on lashes, I always at least put on like just halfway just to get that inner corner so that way you can't see where the lashes end and like my eye begins. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is put on some eyeliner real fast. Um, I'm just going to use the Inglot gel liner and a brush. Um, I'm going to do a wing because I feel like it, but you definitely don't have to do a wing. So I'm going to put on some eyeliner and then I will be back. Okay, so now I have my eyeliner on and the next thing that you're going to want to do is mascara. Now the reason you're going to want to do mascara before you put on your lashes is because you don't want to get mascara on your lashes especially with a higher quality lash that you can wear like 30 times. You don't want to have mascara sitting on them and ruining the lashes and then they're going to get clumpy. You know, I think that's kind of like the point of wearing false lashes is because they're so like wispy and natural looking where when you wear mascara, it kind of is like clumpy looking because you do have product on your lashes. So I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It's my favorite mascara of all time and I love it. So and that's honestly the only mascara I have. So I'm just going to put a coat of this on and I'm also not going to put too much mascara on. don't want my eyelashes looking like long and fabulous because I'm putting lashes over them. But this is just simply to make them black so that they blend in with my false lashes. Okay, so now that we have our mascara on, we can actually go into the false lashes. So I'm going to just pull them off with tweezers. I always grab from the outer edge because I know I'm pretty much going to cut that off anyways. Um, so if I like pull a hair off or something, it's not a big deal. This lash is going to be for this eye. This lash is going to be for this eye. Usually you can tell by looking at the lashes, but these ones are a little bit more like rounded and not winged. So that's like a little trick if you can't tell. Little just be exactly how they're gonna go on your eyes. So I always use tweezers for everything because they're tiny and I can get in like the crevices of my eyes and with my fingers I can't really as well. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in and show you what I do. So first things first is I'm gonna measure up the lashes to my eyes. So I'm literally just gonna no glue or anything. Just lay them on and kind of see how they sit. So I'm for sure going to want to take this one big chunk off. With lashes like this that have that separation, it's really easy to see how much you need to take off. And you always want to cut from the end. Because just like how your lashes are, they start short and then get longer. You want your false lashes to do the same so they blend in with your natural lashes really nicely. So I'm just going to lay them on again to see how they're looking. And to be honest, I think that's gonna be good. You want them long enough that they, you know, cover the majority of your lashes, but you don't want them so long that when you close your eyes, they're gonna be poking you. Um, so I think that this is a good length. And again, this is why we practice, so that you can see <laughs> when you put your lashes on if they're driving you crazy. So with the other side, I'm not even gonna bother measuring them up to my eyes because I want them to be the same length so that they're even. Most of the time, your natural eyeballs are not going to be symmetrical, um, but you're going to want your lashes to be symmetrical so that they look the same when they're on your eyes. Um, we don't want to enhance our asymmetry. We want to <laughs> enhance symmetry. <laughs> so now we're going to actually glue them on our face. Um, I have been using, this is so messy because it's glue and everything sticks to it, but this is the Duo brush on adhesive. This is a clear you know, it's white, but it dries clear. This is just my go-to. It's cheap. It's easy to get. I can just run to CVS and get it. I struggle with lash glue. I definitely don't have one that I love because really strong lash glues are amazing because they last, but they're going to like stick to your eyelids and stick to your lashes. Um, but on the other hand, ones that aren't as long lasting, although they don't stick to your eyelids, which I appreciate, they don't always last that long so this is like it lasts a long time but not so bad that I can't get it off of my eyelids but I don't have any issues with it like lifting so and it's really easy because it's a brush on too so it does have a little brush like that 
and I'm just going to do a nice thin coat on the lash band. I definitely try to get a little bit more, if you can see what I'm doing, on the <laughs> inner and outer corner. Focus. There we go. You also don't want to get like too much glue on there, so just enough. So again, I use my tweezers for everything. And I give these like a minute to dry. Traditional duo, you gotta wait like a minute to two minutes for it to get tacky. With this duo, it takes like 10, 20 seconds. So I get my mirror up close to my face, close to my face, and I angle it so it's under me like this. Maybe not that close, but pretty close. And down, so I can actually see up through my lashes onto my eyelid where I want the lashes to sit. I'm gonna grab the lashes by the center and I'm gonna anchor that down. Let's see what I'm doing. Anchor that down in the center of my lid. So since we let our glue get a little dry, it's gonna actually stick there. So now I just kinda stick down that outer corner and come around and stick down the inner corner. I like to press on the lashes to make sure that they're actually set. I can actually like feel the cold glue on my eyelid and feel that it's like, you know, kind of in the right spot and feel that it's actually stuck down. So now I'll usually just look at myself straight. Um, if it looks like it's sitting up a little too high, I'll just grab my lashes and kind of or grab my tweezers and just kind of squeeze everything together and if I still am like not sure how they're sitting I'll use my fingers so that I can actually like feel that everything is stuck down sometimes you get glue on your fingers when you do that but I think it gives me a better sense of like actually physically feeling that my lashes are sitting in the right spot all right so lashes are on and now we get to do the other side so I got my glue on again same thing, grabbing the center of the lashes, tilting my mirror up, <laughs> looking down into it, and letting the lashes dry. And we're just going to anchor that down. Get that outer corner, and then the inner corner. And again, since the glue got tacky, it's going to stick down pretty dang easy. And again, just squeezing them together to make sure that they're nice and close to my lashes. That inner corner is the one that you got to watch. Because if the inner corner sticking up, that's when you're going to see the false lashes like the most. And that's why we put on eyeliner first. I swear it's like every time I put on a new pair of Dulce Luxe lashes, it's like... They're my new favorite. It's like every pair is my new favorite. Another thing that you can do, I mean this is me being a little anal, but I feel like I can see some skin like peeking through right in here. Um, so you can just kind of take a, a eyeliner pencil and tight line. So if you just look down you can just like draw it right up into the lashes. I know this is like gross and weird looking. But this is just another thing that you can do to help blend your lashes in so they look a lot more natural. So that is it. That is how I put on lashes. Those are all of my secrets, all of my tips to help you be able to figure out how to do it on your own. I hope this video was really helpful. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything that I didn't touch on or any questions that you have for me. I'd be more than happy to answer them. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter. Those will also be in the description box if you want to find me there. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one.